need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. What's going on, everybody? I have a new build for you. For those of you that like to run and gun, well, here you go. A run and gun build. These are our starting special stats, as per usual. Keep in mind that there is a special book under Sean's crib in our old house and sanctuary that will allow us to drop an extra point into something, which I will put into luck. But this is where I start when the vault tech rep comes to the door. This is for those who like to treat the game as more of a shooter, take advantage of the vastly improved shooting mechanics and the maneuverability uh, that you can use cover and stuff like that. This uh, takes all that into account. And that's what I designed this for. This is not a VATS build, and it doesn't quite hold the punch of a pistol build in VATS. But it's still pretty effective. Notice now I'm level 47. This is where I'm at with all my bobbleheads. Well, at least all my special bobbleheads. I'm still missing a few of the uh, of the skill ones. But uh, the key here is to not put the points into VATS-related stuff and just get my luck up to three so that I can unlock Bloody Mess. Um... And then, uh, the, really, the key perk to this entire thing... Now, Sneak is, of course, always effective in any build, right? It allows you for uh, big damage modifiers with Ninja. But uh, between Action Girl and this, Moving Target, Sprinting costs 50% fewer action points once you have it maxed out, and you get plus 50 damage and energy resistance while sprinting. This is kind of the opposite of the Rooted or the Sentinel build, which allows you to take less damage while you're standing still. And there's even gear for that. It's called Sentinel Gear, I believe. And when you have um, basically a full set of that, and you have all those perks maxed out in your strength tree, rooted, you can pretty much stand there and say, come at me, bro. Well, this is kind of the opposite. Now, this, uh, this really, especially if you're playing on survival mode, I would strongly recommend going Lone Wanderer, not only for the extra carry weight, which is convenience, but uh, also for the extra damage you, you do, and the less damage you take, and all that good stuff. Now, um, the points I didn't put into luck, and the couple extra points I didn't put into agility, because I'm, I'm not relying on vats with this build. Like I say, this is this is a shooter build. Um, I put those, for me, into Endurance and Charisma. Uh, put them wherever you want, uh, as per taste, okay? But I like being able to set up supply lines between my settlements and stuff, so that's a thing with me. If I didn't want to do that, I'd probably drop even more points into Endurance, and a little extra health never hurt. Now, I prefer Leather Armor, and these are some of the pieces that I found. A little extra agility and perception, stuff like that taking less damage. Uh, defensive stuff is good, and stat stuff is good, but if you can find sprinter's gear, that really plays into this build in allowing you to take less damage while sprinting, or blocking, right? But the key is sprinting. And here we go. With this, sprinting costing 50% um, fewer action points, wearing really light armor, and running around with a decent endurance, and so on and so forth, you can, um, well, here I started at the castle, I'm essentially going to sprint to General Atomics and have basically half my action points left. This type of thing. When you get Action Boy slash Action Girl maxed out, your action points will come back, geez, almost as fast as you use them. And like I say, essentially you'll be able to sprint almost indefinitely. I mean, you know, not forever in a straight line type of thing, but, you know, factor in that on survival mode you can't fast travel. Once you've cleared some areas out and you need to get back and forth between places that are kind of far away, this is kind of a godsend. I mean, it's it's really nice to have, right? And it also allows you to get away, and that that's really um, uh, the key to the to the whole you know gunplay and combat mechanics is to take less damage if you need to get out of there, right? Here I am doing some of the uh, the mechanist stuff here, right? And you know if you're taking fire, the ability to get out to where maybe you can stealth out if you need to, if you're in dire straits or whatever, or just plant a few. Uh, uh, gifts for your friends as they're following along behind you and you can get out of their range and go find cover if you need to and so on and so forth also to sprint from tree line to tree line if you're taking fire especially from uh, high damage enemies like gunners or, or legendary raiders you know stuff like that right and keep in mind it's still effective even as a sneak build and so on and so forth this is a, uh, a 10 millimeter I think it does a little extra energy damage but uh, nothing really impressive like I say, th there you go, run and gun build. It's the opposite of your rooted build, and I, th I thought you guys might appreciate that. Play with it, see what you think, and let me know. Thanks for watching. If you want to subscribe, click that button up top, and if you want to catch our Fallout 4 playthrough, click that image in the middle. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.